Miss Debbie wore this on her head when I got married. That's what that is. And look, there's an invitation here, guys. Have you ever gotten an invitation before to a party? No. No? Well, let's see what it says. Let's see what this says here. It says wedding in Cana. Can you say Cana? Cana. Ah, okay. When we go to a wedding, sometimes the bride has, they hold some flowers, right? Yeah. When they... What else? They do. They throw them behind them. You're right, Lilia. And they kiss, too. They do kiss. And they kiss. <laughs> this says here, this is an invitation. That means it says, come and join us. I want you to come to this party. And this is a wedding. It says to the bride and the groom. Let's see the bride and the groom. Here they are. Here's the bride and the groom. She has on her veil, and she's holding her flowers. And the date. That's today. It says today. And it says 11 o'clock. So we're here just in time for the wedding. And the place is right here for our Bible, our Bible lesson classroom. Yes, Lilia. Mm -hmm. It says Bible lesson classroom. And then it says RSVP. Do you know what that means? Yeah. <laughs> it means will you be able to come? Are we ready to start our Bible lesson for us to see what's happening. And Mary. Yeah, we're going to get married here today in our Bible lesson. And I do have, Lilia, I have the crown here, like you said. I have the flowers. And then I also have the rings here, too, that they put on their fingers when they get married, right? That's all, all part of the, that's all part of when, when, when one gets married. <laughs> But okay. My mommy got married. Yes. Lilia, I have a question. Oops. Who is who is Jesus' mommy? What is her name? Mary. It is Mary, right? And who is this, guys? Jesus. This is Jesus. Say hi, Jesus, and hi, hi Mary. Because this is Jesus' mommy, Mary. They were invited to the wedding. The wedding was going to be in a place called Cana. Can you say Cana again? Cana. And it was in a small village in a town called Galilee. Say Galilee. 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 Okay. And at the wedding, have you ever been to a wedding before? I've never been to a wedding. You haven't? Well, when you go to a wedding, you have food to eat. You have music to listen to so you can dance later on. And then you also have food and drinks. But do you know what they like to drink at the wedding at Cana? They like to drink wine, okay? And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the wine bottle was empty. There was no more wine. And Jesus had to do something about that as soon as Mary went to Jesus and told Jesus that you need to do something. And he said, why are you bothering me? My time hasn't come yet. In other words, he wasn't ready to show the miracle yet, but he wanted to help out all the friends at the wedding. So do you see this? Jesus told the servant to go get some water. Okay. And they had, I'm opening this up. Back in Bible times, they had a lot of these jugs that they had to fill up. fill up. And when they filled them up, they had to wash with them. There was called a ritual, and there was six of them. Okay, how many are up here? Six. One. Six. That's right. And when they, when what happened was, all of the wine was empty. And Jesus said, "Look at those six containers right there. I want you to fill them up with water." Okay. And I'm going to put a little water in here, and a little water in here. And the servant did what he was told. The servant was told to go fill up these jugs with water. So that's 
what he did, but he did not know what he was doing. And he was kind of nervous because then Jesus said, and all of his disciples were there too. Do you remember the disciples? Yeah. How, how many disciples were there? How many were there? I can't see. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There was all of their friends. My friends, turn on your listening ears, please. Yeah, Jesus doesn't need a number because he was there. He told the servant, I want you to fill up all of these containers with water. Did you see the water go in there? And look at what happened in this picture here. He said, I want you to go dip some of it out, and I want you to go give it to the master of the ceremony. So I'm going to dip some out. And I want you to bring it. It turned into wine. It did. And he brought it over. He brought it over to the master of ceremonies. And he was very happy to hold that cup of wine. He said, you saved the best wine for the whole party. You want me to drink it? Okay. No, I want to drink it. No, I, have drink. Do you want me to drink it? No. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. I want to it drink. needs some sugar. Yeah, it needs some sugar. But that was the first miracle. That was the first miracle. Can you say miracle? Miracle. How did that happen? Because this is all water in here. How did that happen with it's all water, except for this one right here? Because Jesus had the power of God inside of him, and it showed all the people at the wedding, all of the disciples, it showed them all that he was God's son, and that's what this whole story is about. It's not really wine, okay? It is pretend. And Miss Debbie did not do a miracle. Only God can do a miracle. Oh, okay. That's how you did it? Yeah, it is actually. Do you want me to tell you the secret of what it was? Yeah. I poured in a little bit of Kool Aid in there, and that's what that was. That's okay. A miracle? Yes. So because good. I can't create miracles. Only God can do that. And Jesus, right? Can we say a prayer about that? Okay. Dear God, we are so thankful, we are, that you create miracles so that we know who you are, and we are learning that you are God's Son, and we give you all praise and honor and glory. It is in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 